folks, Aaron here. I have a soprano ukulele to show you today, number 657. This is a builder's choice instrument, and it's uh, Alaskan yellow cedar and um, white oak. Uh, and yeah, with the builder's choice instruments, it's uh, me building things how I see fit, and it's usually a chance to experiment, try something new, develop a skill, whatever. And in this case, um, the main thing is that I wanted to make a soprano ukulele that mimicked or paid tribute to some of the aesthetic and design ideas of the 1880s and 1890s um, with our first few uh, builders in Hawaii. So uh, the first thing was I wanted to make my own rope binding. Uh, maybe it's hard to get the, there you go. So I made mine of maple, cherry, and walnut, and I laid it out in kind of a random pattern, which is not traditional, but it's just what I like. So I have the rope binding here on the top, the sound hole, and the fretboard. So those uh, old style instruments, they often are a softwood top and a hardwood back and sides. In this case, we've got Alaskan yellow cedar for the top and oak for the back and sides. And this uh, yellow cedar is the log from uh, the beach on Camp Westwind. So it's been fun to try to get, uh, get to know this wood and see how it sounds and everything. And uh, beautiful white oak back and sides. It's got a fur neck. And then this is a... Um, Texas ebony for all the dark wood here for a real more traditional look than what I usually do. And then I use some amber stain or tone uh, toner to all the finish here. And uh, that's to mimic kind of the amber shellac that's on the older instruments a little bit. I think I could go a, a, a shade oranger and it would look more like the old ones. But yeah, anyway, uh, I'm really pleased with it. It's really fun to play and I like the, the look and the vibe of it. really nice so this is going out to the email list in a few minutes uh, number 657 a uh, Alaskan yellow cedar and oak soprano ukulele cheers